we could actually, as a side note, maybe we could um, look how this definition relates to topology. Maybe you have seen a definition of abstract topology. So as a comparison, let's have a look at the, how topology definition looks. So if we take a collection of sets T, which is sub collection of a power set like this, we could ask, uh, we could say that this is a topology on omega if there are also um, some conditions. So one condition is that uh, the empty set and the full set should be members of the collection T. Then there's a requirement and that um, if we have a finitely many sets up to N, then this uh, finite intersection, let's see if I can fit it here, that should also be part of T. And then for any finite collection of, uh, no, sorry. Let's clean this up. We have a finite, um, here I have the eraser. Let me practice this a bit, yeah. So if I have a finite collection of um, uh, events, so the finite intersection should be in the topology. And uh, if I have any indexed collection, um, uh, E alpha with E alpha in uh, the T, sorry, the T should be there. So these uh, are contained in T. If we require here something contained in T as well. So then um, it should follow that uh, the arbitrary union also uncountably infinite is in T. If these three properties hold, then we uh, actually call a T a topology. Has somebody I seen the... Question. Please, yeah. Uh, so what about uh, um, arbitrary um, unions in the sigma algebra, not only countably, because here in the definition, uh, we only have countably uh, many sets for the union, right? In the third axiom. For, for sigma algebras, yes, we require uh, uncountably uh, infinite collections. And for topologies, we could think about arbitrary unions. So, but so for sigma algebras is only countably. Uh, yes, okay. This also yeah. includes the finite collection. Yeah, so the countably infinite implies also that the finite collections of um, intersections mm -hmm. and unions are also yeah. stable. But uncountably many, uh, they need not be in the sigma algebra. That's correct. So okay. let's say sigma algebras is, um, this is all about uh, countable things. Okay. And that's how sigma algebras work. So they, they everything is uh, countable there when we look at things. Okay. For topologies, okay, for topologies, there's uh, arbitrary unions and then finite intersections, and that's that's uh, what the topology is. Okay, uh, has somebody seen this definition of the topology? Topology, this abstract thing. Give me yes if you have seen it. Okay, that's um, yes. Thanks. So I was a bit curious to see. Okay, so. Also, one naming is that uh, what are these members called? So the members are of this collection. They are called measurable sets. What are the members of topology called? In the topology, what are the members called? They are called open sets. So if you say measurable, you are referring to some sigma algebra. If you say open, you are referring to some topology. 
Okay, this is all extremely abstract and, um, and that's what we are actually going to do to start with. So actually the power, why mathematical theory of probability is so powerful relies on this that we can handle so abstract things in really, really huge general settings. 